Hi, Ollie. Hi, Tyrone. Um, I, I'm just wondering on Cristiano, really, and, and how he's sort of settled in and how the young players have, have settled in around him. Um, obviously, his experience and what he's been through in the game could be phenomenal for the likes of, of Mason and Anthony Alanga, who travelled with the squad this week. But I suppose it's also understandable that they could almost be in awe of him, as, as everyone is, really. How have the young players been around him and, and how has Cristiano been with the likes of, of Anthony? Has, has he been happy to try and put them at ease and, and offer them advice? You know, Cristiano has come in exactly as we uh, as we hoped. You know, he he knows Man United. He's been here before. Same same with Tom Heaton. You know, the two of them, they, they know the culture, they know what we do, they've learnt it here and they've come back and they're giving these young boys uh, glimpses of what you can have in your career uh, and they talk to them about their own uh, previous experiences because, you know, they... How we do things here is within the walls, and uh, you, you have to experience it to um, to be able to pass it pass it on. And uh, with a, with the career Cristiano has had, of course, Mason, Anthony, uh, Marcus, for that matter, Anthony and Martial as well, young, still young players. They can learn off uh, the best, and you know, with expectations and the circus and the, uh, everything that. Uh, uh, ha- happened before the Newcastle game. I think Cristiano handled it well, and the, the other players handled it really well. Uh, it's uh, it's what we do. Uh, good players come in, and you you learn from them, but you you still want to take their their place. Simon Mullock. Hi, Ollie. Um, Hi. It's a little bit of a, a follow on from from that, really. Um, something real. Ferdinand mentioned after the uh, the game the other night in Europe, when, when Cristiano came off, he was on the touchline, kind of barking instructions at players in the technical area. Uh, Rio seems to suggest that's something that, that a player should, shouldn't really be doing, particularly at Manchester United. Uh, do, do you have a problem with that? Um, it, you know, can, can Cristiano sometimes be a little bit over-enthusiastic because, you know, his enthusiasm is obviously something that, he's still got and that's still burning strongly in him? Uh, Rio again, you know, sometimes he uh, he comments on things he doesn't really know. Uh, that was, it should have been a yellow card to the boy when he brought down uh, Nemanja and both Bruno and Cristiano, as competitive as they are, suddenly I, I had them on my shoulders. They were there for a brief, brief spell and shouted to the referee. Um, that was just in the aggravation of getting a few bad decisions against us or them. So, um, no, Cristiano sat down, Bruno sat down. They're all, we know that there's only one man uh, allowed in that technical area. It's either me or uh, Karras or Mick or Kieran who are up there. But that was just a, a spur of the moment should have been sent off uh, that number 35, Martins. So, um, I don't have any problem with them showing some passion and then uh, going back down. So it's not like he was coaching his players, no. Joe Bernstein. Yeah, afternoon. Um, obviously, having Cristiano in, in the building, you, you're going to play to his strengths. Has that been a challenge for you as a coach to just try and tweak the tactics, to maybe tweak the strategy a little bit, tweak the training, just to get the, the best out of him? Or are you really running the training sessions as you would have done before Cristiano arrived? <laughs> you know, we... Uh... All new players or players coming into a, a group, in the, in the beginning you manage them. You manage the training load, you manage the training session because you, you have to get used to the way that we do things. Cristiano has been here before, he knows how we do things. Um, and we've not really had to adapt any training at all. Uh, tactically, he's, he, uh, he gets what we want from him, of course. Uh, and it's, it's about getting the best out of the team, not one player. We've got... You, you can say, oh, you want the best out of Bruno, you want the best out of Mason, you want the be- best out of Jaden, the best out of Anthony. We, we've got so many players. The whole point is that we work together as a team and we, the stronger collective, uh, the more chance for the individual to get, uh, get goals or assists or uh, that we celebrate together after the game. And uh, his, uh, Cristiano is a player that we, we wanted in the team when, when he was available, of course.